I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, where's the fat boy been? What's he been up to? And is that beard ginger? Right, just parked up. Uh, it's been a while. I wanted to catch up. Um, I think it's about seven years ago now since I first left Australia. And the reason I left Australia was um, I wanted a plan. And that plan was to retire. So I came back realising that if I wanted to hatch a plan to retire, I'd have to do it back in the UK, in my own country. And that was seven years ago. And sadly, seven years on, I don't seem to have made any progress at all. There's a problem with that. You know, it's not that I, I mind working. I've, I've worked all my life. Um, it's that you seem to give away the best years of your life to work. And I think I've become more conscious as I've got older um, of uh, the fact that society is, is a trap. And I know I sound a little bit like a conspiracy theorist now, not a 57 year old professional, but this is what I've come to realize. You know, we get trapped into careers and we get trapped into working and we get trapped into selling hours of our life in return for money. And what do we do with it? We, we buy things to try and plug the holes in our souls because we spend all of our time at work. So I've become extremely conscious about this. And I think the original idea behind the lorry and going off to Africa was part of uh, that deal with myself, that I wasn't going to spend forever working in the hospital here in the UK selling hours of my life. I was going to go and do something for me. We kind of got going on the journey of the expedition truck, as you know, and then the whole COVID thing hit and... You know, that took me back to full-time work at the hospital and the whole truck idea fell on the back burner. Time passed by and in the end we decided to, to sell because time was passing by and we sold the truck and we bought a motorhome. But I realised that, um, that I've kind of got to get out the rat race and I can't afford to retire yet unless we do something very impulsive and some would say foolish and that's what i've done when you're old and you're tired and the system has got you what do you do to escape you buy yourself a rusty old tub and think about living aboard
So what do you do when you buy a rusty old bucket? Where do you start? Well, the first thing we started with was cleaning it. Uh, I mean, this was absolutely filthy. Uh, it was like an, an old man's or a hoarder's shed. black dust and filth everywhere there were screws and fittings and dismantled things on every flat surface that was going toilets were first of all they were full of junk they were like storage and then when we removed all the stuff out of there and put it in a storage container the place was filthy it was disgusting so the first thing that we had to do was clean the boat from top to bottom So today's job is this. Anyway, so that's where we are so far. So more updates coming soon. So do me a favor, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. That way you get notifications. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll catch up with you very, very soon. In the meanwhile, bye for now.